Donald Trump declares war, accusing the New York Times of leading the greatest coordinated attack in political history following their latest report of harassment claims. Former presidential candidate and Trump supporter Dr. Ben Carson joins us now to react to this. What do you think about this latest ordeal with the mainstream media, Dr. Carson? Well, it's, it's very disappointing because our system was set up in such a way that the press was supposed to keep the people informed so that the will of the people could direct the country. But when the press decides that they want to become biased, it completely distorts the system. And this is what we've experienced now. Uh, obviously, you know, a, a week or two ago when I said that the, the tape was the Billy Bush tape was not going to be the last thing, that there would be more things each week and they would parcel them out to keep the spotlight on Trump because they don't want to deal with the issues. This is exactly what's happening. This is so predictable. And the question is, will the American people be smart enough to see beyond the manipulation that is going on so that the political class can contain and keep their power? This is the real issue. Right. It's about but, the political so you're not class saying, versus you're not, the people. Yeah, you're not saying the four women are not telling the truth. You're wondering why now, the timing, because the New York Times said, just said a short time ago, they came over to the reporter uh, and they just told the story. Yeah, well, you know, there's an atmosphere that's been created by the New York Times and others that says, look, if you're willing to, to come out and say something, we'll give you fame, we'll give you whatever you need. What a bunch of crap, you know, the, but the, the people have to see through this because, again, the train is going off the cliff. Our country's going off the cliff financially and in so many other ways. If we don't deal with this stuff now, our children are completely going to be disadvantaged sure, and, uh, and the, destroyed. Their uh, future will be destroyed. Pardon me, doctor. And, of course, uh, through WikiLeaks, we now know there's like media coordination between the New York Times, the Boston Globe, CNN, CNBC, so it looks very cozy. WikiLeaks also has revealed that, uh, and we were talking about this yesterday, how a number, uh, including uh, Hillary Clinton's campaign communications director, mocking Catholics. And now some new uh, WikiLeaks Emails show that what they're calling for, Dr. Uh, Carson, is for a Catholic spring in, in the spirit of the Arab Spring where they change everything. Because let's face it, of course, you look at the emails and the chain is very long. Uh, we'll talk about it a little later on and have in the past. Uh, what, the Catholic yeah. Church needs to be shaken up because they're just too far in the dark ages, essentially is what they're saying. Yeah, well, you know, as you remember, in 2012, there was a big platform fight because they wanted to remove all vestiges of faith in God. And obviously, that philosophy is advancing. And, uh, you know, they're now advocating things that are in direct opposition mm -hmm. to the Word of God, uh, knowing that if they can get people to accept that, then they can completely right. obliterate God in our society. And that's their real goal. I also think that you brought up a good point. We were talking before. Is it why Donald Trump is going after Paul Ryan and the rest of Republicans makes no sense to you? No, well, you know, th th that's energy that could be expended, sure. you know, educating the people about the platforms. I mean, get anybody to read the Democrat pa platform and the Republican platform. I think the vast majority of Americans would be appalled at the Democratic platform, but keeping people ignorant and then feeding them propaganda, that is the mechanism that they utilize. Sure, and so, you, you, you got to wonder what Paul Ryan's doing as well, because it looks like, and I know you, your camp says uh, any Republican who does not vote for Donald Trump, essentially that's a vote for Hillary Clinton. It is, and people need to recognize that you are voting against your children and their future. That is really the key. If people can understand that and get beyond the the initial uh, agitation that they might feel offended by this or that or the other, this is so much bigger than anything that might offend you. And, you know, Donald Trump is not a perfect person. Nobody has been a perfect yeah. person. And if you go back and you look through the history of our presidents, you'll find a lot of issues. That's not the issue. The issue is who can deal with the problems that we're having. I would love to have somebody in there who was you know, pure as, as the windblown sand. But, you know, let's be practical here and let's deal with the issues right now. Sure. All right. Dr. Carson, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right.